welcome to another purveyor of light photoshop quick tip today we're just going to have fun and that's part of the whole part of being good at photoshop is just practice play experiment the more you do these things the better you're going to get at doing things in photoshop and more importantly you'll understand the different techniques and how to put them together in different ways so Today, I got this picture here of this uh, beautiful lady in a bikini. I've got picked a abstract background, and I have this color splat on a transparent background. And I thought, hey, perfect. Let's put these all together into a modern art composite, and. Uh, so let's give it a try okay I'm gonna use this color ink splot as a layer mask okay a clipping mask more exactly okay I want to clip her to that clipping mask okay so I'm gonna go ahead and drag her photo into the clipping mask and the first thing I need to do is I need to size her so I'm going to roughly position it and I'm going to go command and control T and I'm going to scale it and for positioning purposes I'm going to drop the opacity so that I can see what I'm doing as far as the ink blot which portions of her are going to be visible and that's looking pretty good so I'll commit to that and bring the opacity back okay so now I've got her and I've got our portion that's going to be the clipping mask I'm going to drag that right below her and remember that in order to do a clipping mask we need to pick the area of the layer and right click and say create clipping mask and boom just like that we have now uh, clipped her to that paint spot. Looks pretty cool, right? Again, it's all about playing and all about being creative. So, all right, so next step. I need to take my background here and drag it in. And I need to position that at the bottom. Hey, we're looking pretty good. Okay, of course we can tell right now we've got a textured background over a photograph. And so we've got to fix that. So we need a little more artistic design here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on her layer. And what I want to do is I want to do some artistic work on her so that it gels with the textured uh, background. So I'm going to right click on her and I'm going to create a smart smart object. Okay and now that I have her as a smart object I'm going to go up to filter and filter gallery. With filter gallery I can go through and find out what effects I want. Uh, I'm going to see how cutout works. I like that. So I'm going to use the cutout under artistic. And number of levels 4, edge simplicity 4, and edge definition 2. And there we are. That's looking pretty good. Uh, we're making a modern day piece of art. Alright, so I think that's looking pretty good just as it is right there. And uh, one last technique, of course, you got to take pride in your work. So we got to sign our art. Now we can save this out, put it online, make our million, and we can retire. All right. Of course, I'm just playing around today. I just want to get you playing around. That's the whole purpose of this tutorial, is I want you to play, experiment, use different images, different techniques, and enjoy the process. I think if you do this and 
play with your creativity, you're going to find out that you're much more creative than you give yourself credit for. All right. Till next week, you guys take care.